Fungia mweshimua dindi nyoro Sante sana eh, Awa pate leader mweshimua kimani shongwa Awa Ya yeah, majority leader sorry Awa klaji uh, Na gazi zao zote His Excellency the President Of the Republic of Kenya His Excellency Dr. William Samoe Ruto Mama wetu wa taifa uh, Rachel Ruto our Deputy President, His Excellency Rigavi Gashagua, Pamoja na uh, Pastor Dorcas, na wananchi wote wanakuru na Kenya yote. Wana Yesu wasifiwe. God is good and all the time. Yagu ya kwanza mweshimua rais. Uniruhusu nitukue this opportunity. Kusukuru sana, sana, sana. The citizens of Nakuru County na Kenya yote. Na sana haswa tukiwa hapa Nakuru, ni shukuru sana wakaaji wote wa Nakuru County kwa vile tulikuja hapa tukauliza kura. Na vile tuliuliza saa zingine tulikuwa na maji kwa tumbo. Lakini nyinyi watu wa Nakuru mulitupea kura, mukapea rais wetu kura na ndio maana tumekuja hapa kusema asanteni sana. Your Excellency, if you remember the last meeting we actually did here in Nakuru, Pare Nakuru Town. It was an international uh, political meeting. Now, it said a very strong message to the entire Kenya that Yomana, we got a very solid win. Mwesimua Rais, I only have one thing, kwa sababu naona muda haiko upadewetu. Apostle Kimani, let me tell you on behalf of these leaders, you have spoken to the entire country of Kenya. You are someone in regard to the destiny of our country and our personal destinies has sunk very well on all of us. Na mimi naona ya kwamba leo Mugu directed me to come here specifically for that message from Apostle Kimani. And Your Excellency, when the Apostle was preaching, he referenced very heavily in regard to the economy of Kenya. He talked about and prayed that our country Kenya will be a beacon of economic growth. And he also, in the sermon, talked about and prayed about a united Kenya. Mwesimua Rice, there is a reason why you came here with the retired president those many years ago. Because Nakuru was not the Nakuru we have today. And I don't want to go backwards, but we all understand because we are all Kenyans. But from the sermon of Apostle Kimani, Mwesimua Rice, when a country grows and as apostle prayed economically, when we get industrialization, the tendency historically across all the economies, including the China, that was referenced by Honorable Kenan, people move from the areas, their original areas, where especially there is rigid ethnicity and other divides. And they move to other places, um, where industrialization takes place, and the fault lines that is toxic in regards to identities like ethnicity, it continues to get demolished. And people get more pluralistic lives, they start having other identities which are fluid. Mwesimua Rice, I believe, as we grow the economy, we will work together with all Kenyans from all areas. And our identities will no longer be where we come from. It will be where we work. It will be the businesses we do. It will be about where we are going to school so that we continue Mwesimu Arise demolishing the valleys of hatred, the fault lines of toxic ethnicity, and we forge forward to a stronger Kenya based on a solid economic growth. Mwesimu Arise, I know with you and the, on the steering wheel, Kenya is going to the right place. Lastly, Mwesimu Arise Murikuja na Mukaomba. Na leo tumekuja kupeana shukurani. Na mimi nasema, mungu pia anapea viyogozi utasiri. Because there is no timid leader that can lead a nation. I want to send a very strong warning to those people who are holding meetings every day. Thinking they are going to intimidate our commander-in-chief, His Excellency William Samoe Ruto. You can conduct all the meetings you want. Lakini leo tumewaombea. Kwa hizo mikutano, Preach peace to the Kenyan people. Mwacha kugawanya wa Kenya 
kwa sababu hata kama ni watu munatisha watu wakutisha hakuna na hasoa huyu rais wetu hatishiki asanteni sana wa Kenya wote may god bless you Sante tumpigie mheshimiwa Dendo Nyoro Makofi Your Excellency na viongozi wetu wa kanisa kama tumevuta muda kidogo mtusamehe